Hello guys, this is Jay from MCD here today and we've got Call of Duty Ghost uh, Weapon Loadout class setup. So what you want to do guys is get this weapon called the Vepa. I'll be showing you now. The Vepa is basically exactly like the AK-74U from uh, Call of Duty 4, Black Ops 1, and I think Black Ops 2 maybe, I don't think Black Ops 2 actually. And you know, mainly all the CODs. So they came out with this one, this is nearly enough the same. I'm guessing this is based off it, I reckon it is. I think it is anyway. But yeah, um, it's kind of similar. I mean, it's got large ammo, but really less, really low recoil. But if you want the perfect cell for this, I'll show you now, guys. Because in my last game, I got 42 to 17 on fright, and I did pretty sweat, and I got a last kill and everything. So uh, yeah, pretty sweaty than that. I got a hind and everything, all that shit. I wish I recorded it, but I just didn't have enough time. So what you want, guys, is the muzzle brake for the long range distance, obviously, because it's a submachine gun, and. Uh, you know it's not very great for long range, but if you do the do use this, it makes the accuracy a lot better and the range a lot, lot better. And I've been using muzzle brake, and it's just made my range and my accuracy a lot better. And also the foregrip is the same as the muzzle brake, exactly the same. Back straight, better range, and all that kind of stuff. So um, it'd be better the fore, without the foregrip, it might be a bit bouncy. I won't recommend putting a red dot sight on if you put it on like long range maps. But you shouldn't really use this weapon for long range maps. But uh, yeah, full grip and a muzzle brake. Usually use this weapon very small, close range map like strike zone and not strike zone. Uh, yeah, I think it's strike zone, the one with made of foam, stuff like that. So where uh, you want the PT P226 is your secondary, like I always do. Yeah, I, I don't really mind what you have on it, but I always have a suppressor because that just makes it a lot better. So you're a lethal and IED because like because you're a close range guy, you might just want to drop one of these bad boys down, and you know if you get him killed, if you run and drop one down, run away. You might get a kill in them, you know, on the odd time, so um, you might want to get one of them on. Or even have a subtax. I just had to call it a smoke grenade so then you can be hidden, and obviously you've not got a silencer, but you can be hidden in the area, and you can throw it down, and you can go and take some uh, flags, or even just kill a lot of people in the area. Because it's a submachine gun, so it's good for close range. I want, I the best perk for this weapon is probably ready up, slide, and a quick draw and focus. Focus so then uh, when you get shot, you don't know, bounce all over the place. Quick draw so your aiming is a lot faster, obviously you need that. Slide hand because, you know, it's kind of awkward and so you always, I always recommend slide hand because then you would be a lot faster than the enemy reloading. And obviously ready up so you, when you sprint with a submachine gun, you're going to be obviously faster. I think you're faster with submachine guns anyway. And as your strike package, I want you to put a Sultan, Guard Dog, Trinity Rocket and Battle Hind. Uh, guard Dog, yeah, it's pretty decent. I mean, if you want to go in close range, it's obviously not good for... This, but in my opinion, it's pretty good. Like, you know, I just call one in really fast, you know, have one covering you. Uh, Trinity Rocket, if you get a couple of kills now and then, you need being killed, you might as well spawn, get one of these bad boys out, and just kill a couple of people. The Battle Hind is really good. I mean, that's just a helicopter that flies in the sky. Uh, I got this last game as well, and uh, I got like 10 kills of it or something like that. So, um, you just call this in, and then you get a couple of kills while you're on the go. I mean, you don't even need to control it. That's why these are really good. Instead of the Trinity Rocket, only use the Trinity Rocket when you die. So um, this is the weapon, clo weapon loadout class cell for the Vepa uh, submachine gun. Obviously there's going to be more of these videos, like I'm probably going to do a video on the Markman's rifles, like one of these. I don't know which one to choose so far. I've been using that one lately and it's obviously, in my opinion, probably one of the best ones. So guys, leave a like, drop a comment, also subscribe for more G uh, Call of Duty or GTA 5 content. Uh, there's obviously going to be like more, probably more, a lot more GTA lately because I mean, we're not going to do much on that. See so you guys, see you next video. Peace. Bye.